welcome back to Temple Void Turnings. Um, huge response to the CD uh, series so far. Absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much uh, to all of you that are watching my videos and especially to the ones that are, uh, are leaving comments. Uh, I'm really loving the comments that I'm getting so far. If you've got any questions at all about the whole series, please don't hesitate to ask down below and, uh, and I'll try and answer the questions best I can. Um, okay, on to this week. Mega project. Um, and I've decided to incorporate all my experiments all into the one bowl. And in that bowl, we are going to have Sported Beach. Okay. Colour pencils. Yay! And of course, because this is the compact disc series, we are going to have CDs on the top as well. So, it's going to be Beach, Pencils, Discs. If it's anything like the Goblet, this should be quite a fun video. So uh, stick with me and let's make a sported beach colour pencil compact disc bowl. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so I have all my CDs here and I'm just going to use my palm sander and I'm just going to uh, sand off the raised area in the middle on both sides of the disc. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to get to it. Now, I'm not going to show you sanding every single one of them. And also, I can't show you sanding the other side because, uh, like I said in the previous video, I'm not sure about the um, the copyright on um, showing uh, CDs and artists and things like that. So, uh, I should go ahead and sand all these and I shall get back to you in several hours, probably. Okay, so I have sanded all these CDs on both sides um, and they are all flat. I've got rid of all the uh, raised rings that were in the centre, both sides. And um, I've used a heavy sandpaper to, um, to score both sides so the glue holds onto it. Now what I'm going to do now is, um, because obviously it was a dusty session sanding them, is I've got some uh, methylated spirit just here, which I think, I'm not sure, but I think that's what um, is called denatured alcohol in the States. Um, don't hold me to that, but I think that's what it is. But this is methylated spirits. Um, we can get it in two types over here. We can get it clear or we can get it purple. Um, just as a color, but um, so I'm just cleaning off both sides of each CD now, just to get rid of, you can see there, um, just to get rid of any residue that's, that's left on them. And I shall come back to you when I have them all ready for, uh, for gluing it up. Okay, so we're at the bandsaw, my little diddy bandsaw. Uh, I've sanded up both sides of the discs so that they're flush and I've cleaned them all off as you saw and I've taped them in bundles of I think it's bundles of 16 I think um, and that's the thickness that we're going to have on the top of our bowl um, and there's three lots of those and you're going to see why now now I've set I've made this very crude uh, jig but it does work because I've been practicing 
that sits in there that's just a piece of compact disc that I've just stuck onto the board this is at 30 degrees um, it doesn't really matter for this at the moment but I've got it set up in a way that uh, this cuts the discs perfectly in half okay and once I've cut them in half I'm going to take each half put it against here and I'm going to take the edges off which will give me a 30 degree angle to the, the straight so it will give me uh, 30 degree angles so six half CDs all the way around the edge of that bowl um, will segment to make the, the ring now it will all make sense in a second I've never segmented before in my life so this is all I've been kind of just doing this trial and error so um, I'll do the first ones and you can see how I uh, how I do it uh, like I said I've got it all taped up so they don't move um, and uh, yeah let's just go ahead and do it There's our two halves. Two perfectly, yep, two perfect halves. Alright, so now we take our two halves, slide back in, and I'm lining up the edge of the CD with where the saw is going to be cutting. And I'm just going to take off this edge. Okay, and that's the shape that we end up with. And uh, once I've cut the rest of them, I'll uh, I'll show you what we're going to do. Okay, so now I'm going to cut my pencils to length. I've got the distance. I've just this is kind of a sacrificial uh, jig that I've set up, just a rough jig. Uh, I've cut my CD, so I don't need it anymore. Uh, this side. So what I've done is I've stuck another piece on that's the right distance from the blade to the back of this um, stock here um, that's our distance that I want to cut my pencils at okay Now to glue up the pencils, I won't show you the process of gluing them together, it's just basically sticking a load of pencils together. You've seen it all before, you can go back to a previous video I did, if you haven't seen it, um, to where I construct a blank out of uh, pencils. You can just look back through my videos and you'll find it. So I'll be back to you in a bit when I've uh, glued up this uh, pencil blank. Okay, so I'm back. Um, after a couple of hours of gluing up a few pencils so what I've done is I've uh, I've made a ring a hexagonal ring so it's roughly the same size as the piece of beach that I have here I've sanded it flat both sides um, and the beach is sanded flat too and the plan is now I'll, uh, I'll glue this ring to the beach I should get around about a seven inch bowl out of this piece of wood the the beach is eight eight inches now my plan with the CDs are obviously um, because you're restricted with the size of the CDs I had to cut them and segment them now um, my plan is that they're going to go in this way 
And if you see that, you can, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to stick the CDs to the pencils then. Now there might be a little bit of sanding on the on these edges just to get them perfect, but it's only a matter of rubbing it up and down on a piece of sandpaper to get it right. They're not too bad at the moment. And these are going to stick around like this. It's the only way I could think of uh, getting a larger piece with the CDs. So that's how that's going to go. Obviously they'll come in a bit. But you get the idea. Okay, so I have my blank, as rough as it looks, on the uh, chuck. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put um, a mortise in the inside um, so that I can expand my chuck. I turn it round, expand my chuck into it, and I can uh, then do the bottom of the bowl and do the main outside shaping and uh, put um, a ten on on the in, on the bottom as well, so that I can reverse chuck it again. Then.
Okay, I have that sanded right up to um, 2000. I've decided I'm going to do some texturing with my uh, Wagner texturing tool uh, that my buddy Rob in Canada bought me. So uh, let's give it a whirl and see if we can give this a bit of a texture at the bottom. Give it a couple of uh, lines just to have it stand out. sand and sealer on it and I'll come back to you. Okay so that's the outside of the bowl done. Um, I've sanded it as I said up to 2000 grit. Um, I filled any little imperfections that are in the pencils with uh, with coloured wax. Uh, melted them in with, a, with my little mini blowtorch. Um, you can see how I do that in the third part of my pencil goblet video. So now I'm going to reverse chuck it and um, we can hollow out the inside. So this is the moment of truth. So face mask on. And let's do this. I think that's as thin as I want to dare go. Yeah, I'm happy with the shape of that. I'm going to sand that up now and um, and patch up a few of the chip outs and uh, I'll come back to you when it's finished. Okay guys, so that's it. That's our Beechwood pencil and compact disc uh, bowl. It's uh, just a little bit shy of seven inches round and it's just under four inches deep um, with texturing on the bottom. Uh, a couple of things I would change next time I make one is with the pencils, you can see where the pencils broke out. Because I used Gorilla Glue, to glue the, uh, the beechwood to the pencils, it expanded and it went into the gaps of the slight gaps where the pencils were. And then when they broke out, it was just impossible to um, 
dig out and clean out um, all the Gorilla Glue that had, had wedged up in, in behind the pencils. So uh, I ended up just filling it with um, with pencil dust and sawdust and uh, and CA and then sanding it back. Um, so there are there are some spots in there that are kind of you can see there some patches where where it's not pencil. Um, it's okay. It looks it kind of goes with the rim because the CDs when you turn them down down. They kind of got this age look to them, kind of a vintage look, um, which I quite like. Um, it's kind of flecks and, and cracks and things that are inside the CDs, um, where the glue is and where it's, I suppose where I've heated it up when I've turned it and it's cooled down and heated it, it kind of puts cracks and things inside. And it looks kind of cool. Um, I'll put some pictures up at the end anyway. Uh, what you could do is you could take a Dremel or, or a carving tool uh, with a, a diamond bit, which I might still do with this, and you can you can grind around the top and texture the top, which would hide what you can see underneath. It would kind of give it a mottled look to it. So um, yeah, that's kind of all I would change. Other than that, I'm delighted with it um, as a CD experiment. Yeah, um, it, it came out really well. I'm delighted with it. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, thank you so much for uh, watching. The, the compact disc um, project seems to be going down well with my uh, with my subscribers. Um, I'm getting new subscribers every day, which is fantastic. I think I'm up on 900 now. Um, absolutely de delighted. So uh, yeah, until next week. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.